Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a question which literally 99% of people failed. Okay. And the reason being because they either did not understand the law of indices or the law of logarithms. Yes. Both of them are very much needed for us to solve these kind of questions. Now here in this case what we should do first is see. According to the law of indices a raised to m plus n can be written as a raised to m into a raised to n. So using that logic I can write this as what 4 raised to x into 4 raised to 3 equals to 3 raised to x into 3 raised to 4. Now what we will do next is we will try and put the numbers on one side and the variables on another side. Means first we will take 4 raised to x and divide both sides by 3 raised to x. Let the 4 raised to 3 be as it is. So here also we have 3 raised to x into 3 raised to 4. Now I will divide both sides by 3 raised to x. Okay. So now what happens over here is this and this is cancelling. And here what we are left with is 4 raised to x in upon 3 raised to x into 4 raised to 3 equals to 3 raised to 4. Now like I said we will put the number also on the other side means we will divide both sides by 4 raised to 3. Okay so what happens over here is see now again a raised to m upon b raised to m both of them are raised to the same index you can write this as what a upon b the whole raised to m. So this can be written as 4 upon 3 the whole raised to x and this obviously is cancelling. So here you are left with 3 upon 4 into 4 upon 3. Now what else we can do? After this we can't do much okay. But we can substitute the value of 3 raised to 4 which is what 81 and 4 raised to 3 which is coming out to be 64. But after this we are literally stuck we can't do much so now in this case what are we left with is we are left with 4 upon 3 the whole raised to x equals to 81 upon 64 now here like i said since we can't do much we will apply log on both sides okay now remember log of a upon log of b equals to sorry log of a upon b is equals to log of a minus log of b similarly log of a raised to m can be written as m log a so using the same logic first we will put this x ahead. So we will get x log of 4 upon 5. And this looks like log 81 minus log 64. Okay, I will write it on top. So now what we can do over here is see x will remain as it is. And log of 4 upon 5 can be written as what log of 4 minus log of 5. This is equals to log of 84, sorry not 84, it is 81 minus log of 64. Now in order to find the value of x, we will divide both sides by log of 4 minus log of 5. Here also we will divide log of 4 minus log of 5. So this will cancel. And now very easily I can say the value of x is what log 81 minus log 64 upon log 4 minus log 3. Now please understand here you can have another option okay. So please remember 81, 81 was what basically it was 3 raised to 4 and 64 was what 4 cube was 64 so using this you can eventually have an option saying it is log of 
three times log sorry not three times it's actually four times four times log three minus three times log four upon log four minus log three okay this also is very well okay because like you know like log of a raised to m gets you what m log a okay so using that if you take the 4 ahead 4 as an index of 3 so it becomes log this entire thing becomes what log 3 raised to 4 that is nothing but what log 81 okay so this is one part of your answer now if they have provided you with log books then you can very well find the value of log 81 which comes out to be around 1.908 minus then we can also find the value of log 64 which is 1.806 upon now lot of people think that okay why don't i put the values over here yes you can do that as well because you've already here you just need to find the value of log 4 and log 3 rest everything has to just get multiplied by 4 and 3 in the numerator it can very well do that because eventually both the values will come out to be same okay so now again value of log 4 is what 0 0.602 minus value of log 3 is what 0 0.477 so when you do this subtraction, you are left with, in the numerator, you are left with what? 0 0.1023 upon, in the denominator, you are left with 0 0.125. Now, please understand, you can use Calci and get the division part sorted. That is very well okay. Okay. Now, the division, when you do the division part, you get the value of x as what? 0 0.819. That, my dear friends, is the value of your question. Now, please understand, what was your question first? Let's go back to that. The question was what? 4 raised to x plus 3. And this is equal to 3 raised to x plus 4. Basically, see, if you take the value of x as 1, so it becomes 4 raised to 4. This becomes eventually it can get to 4 raised to 4 equals to 3 raised to 4. Okay. So, here also when you take the value of 1, this becomes what? 256 and this becomes, uh, sorry, this becomes 3 raised to 5. So, this becomes 243. So, yes, we know that the value of x has to be less than 1 but very, very close to 1. So, if they had given you options, you could have marked from there as well. But if they have not given you the options, mostly I've seen these kind of sums, they give you options in these two forms, okay? They don't provide you with logbook and even if they provide you with logbook, they don't expect you to do so much of calculation, okay? I hope you have understood how to solve these kind of questions. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.